Hi friends, happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. Sally Heartstrike 80 here. Hey guys, how is your Sunday going? I hope it's fun and fantastic. Mine is going really well, pretty good. It's pretty warm here. Yesterday it was 94, I believe, on Saturday. And I nearly couldn't take it. But anyway, it is super nice. It's super sunny. The weather is fine and dandy. Although I will take it back, there was a breeze yesterday. So I did appreciate that a little bit. And yesterday, let's see, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, I went to a swap meet and I did a little thrifting out there. Um, I didn't find too many good things. Oh, and I remember I told you guys on yesterday's video that I was going to take photos and post them to my Instagram. Well, I forgot my camera, so that did not happen, and I apologize for that because I didn't even think about it until I was there, and I was like, oh darn, my camera's not here. Oh, I'm so absent-minded. But I did find a really, a, few, a really nice amount of good things. Well, not really too much, but I will get to that later. So one of the first things that I found that was really, really cool, and I was super, super happy, is I found Caddy Noir, her first edition doll that came out. When was this? When did this come out, guys? Like the year before last? Um, I never got her. I wasn't really into it. But she was there. She's super, super pretty. Hair looks fine. It's just been styled. I actually like her hair styled like this. I don't think it originally came like that. But she has everything. Her bracelets, her shoes, her whole dress. Although, was her dress shredded like this, guys? Or did they do the shredding? Not that it bothers me. It kind of looks really cool and funky. It's just really, really big. <laughs> so I did find her and I was super excited. I found her for $7, which I didn't think was a bad price for her. She could have been 5 but hey, I found her for $7 and in good condition. And I was thinking about getting one on eBay anyway, but I was like, what's the point? Because I'm going to take her out of the box and I want to style her hair. And I actually wanted this caddy because her hair is super long. It's longer than the Scaremaster caddy that I have. So, yeah, I'm digging this hair. And I love that it's already styled. I may brush it, though. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, I went there to find um, old Barbies that had been maybe not taken care of so well. But their bodies were really nice because I wanted to do some transplants. Um, and, you know, make... I had a few doll heads that were really, really super pretty. I bought some online. Um, and I wanted to just switch the bodies out. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Um, so I went there, and I remember the days when you could go to, like, a thrift store, or you could go to, like, a swap meet, and you would find dolls that were played with. Um, they were cute. They ha they definitely were played with, you could tell, but they didn't have haircuts. You know, it was pretty much a little girl. She grew up, and she's like, hey, I'm selling my stuff now, kind of thing. And I would be able to go and get... Barbies for like 10 for $10. I mean, the most I would pay was like $250 for a Barbie doll. OMG. Okay. And I'm not being stanky because <laughs> I know when I went through my whole phase of I'm not going to collect anymore, I don't want to do this anymore thing. Yeah, I went through that and it was terrible. Um, and if I could go back and redo that whole thing, I would. Um, I sold my dolls. For a good price. I sold them for about $5 a piece. But my dolls were very well taken care of. I'd never played with them. I might have posed them, restyled them, or whatever. But they were definitely displayed. They were never touched. Um, no missing hair. No cut hair. No customization at all. So I would sell them for $5 when I would have a yard sale or whatever. So I go there, guys. And I'm at the swap meet. And these dolls are clearly played with. They are like the toys that Woody and the gang found in Toy Story 3, okay? <laughs> but they're really nice. It's just that, you know, they're clearly played with. And so I'm up there. I'm like, oh, wow, there's so many dolls here. Um, maybe I'll be able to get a good buy. And there were, like, um, really nice dolls that I needed the body for. You remember when the Rapunzel doll came out, the Mattel version, and it had, like, the little shorter, cute, petite like Barbie body. Well, I wanted a few of those because I love that body. It works great on the dolls that I was uh, switching the heads out on. So I was like, okay, cool. How much do you want for, uh, you know, your Barbie dolls? She was like, $5 each. 
<laughs> like, wait a minute. These are clearly played with. They've been loved. Like, I understand paying the five bucks or paying something a little bit more than that if you are a collector and you are trying to thin out a collection. Um, you want to give somebody a good deal, but you also don't want to rip yourself off. Now, I clearly understand that. And had they have been that quality, then I would have had no problem paying the five dollars. But it was not the case. So I ended up not really getting anything. I was, like, really dissatisfied. Caddy was a good price so far. Um, but everything else they were selling was, like, old stock from Target. Um, and they wanted, like, 20 bucks for each thing. They had a lot of brats. The brats were cool. Um, I love the brats. I'm, I, I haven't been a brats collector for years. I have a few of my brats I've shared in my room tour video where I did my first room tour part, yada yada. And um, I have those brats, but the brats were even like, they wanted 10 bucks for a brat. I mean, and once again, played with. It wasn't like these were super out of box brats that were just displayed by a collector. They were played with brats, hair combed, hair braided, hair, you know, all kinds of craziness that you had to come home and clean. I mean, some of these dolls were dirty as all get out, okay? Um, so yeah, so I ended up just getting catty. I did find a few other um, doll bodies, a couple more, uh, that I paid a dollar each for, and that was really, really good. I'm not going to show you them now because they've been put into surgery. So besides getting catty at the swap meet, I also got a Madeline Hatter from Target. She is the, what is this one called? The swimming one or whatever. Mirror Beach, excuse me. She's super cute. I do like her. I love this outfit. I might add a shirt to it, though, to make it not look like a swimsuit. Or if the skirt can come off, I might add it to another outfit. But she is really, really cute, and I do love this doll. And something else that I had been looking for forever that I finally found, the new Gulia Yelp plush. Super cute. I love that it comes with a hang tag because I will be putting it on my Walking Dead wall. Because you know, Gulia is a Walking Dead fan and she is in love with Daryl Dixon. And this thing I had been looking for forever, guys. I almost got it on eBay for an outrageous price of, um, I think it was a little over $20. And then you had to pay like 7 bucks for shipping. Calm down, eBay. Um, but I get it. Everybody wants to make a buck, and, you know, it's good. I mean, you're spending your hard-earned cash, and I understand Stand if you have an eBay store, you know, you want to make some revenue off of the item. So I was glad to find Gulia finally on sale. So happy at Target. I think she was twelve ninety nine regular. Are you regular 19, Gulia? I can't remember. Times are changing. Things are getting way more expensive. And I got a few little this and that. I got these two blind bags because at my local Target, they're not selling them anymore. And I have not got an Elsa. I haven't found Elsa. So if Elsa's not in these two blind bags right here, I'm never buying another one of these again. Um, not to be rude or anything, but I really, really want Elsa. I found everybody else in the dog tags except for Elsa. So hopefully one of these will be Elsa. And something cool for my AG friends out there. I found these cute stick-on earrings. Earrings. I can't even say that right. Earrings. Earrings. There we go. From um, Target in their dollar section. Super, super cute. You got Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, um, The Little Mermaid, Merida. Um, you even got my cute little Tiana on here and Rapunzel and some of the princesses are done in shadow, which is really, really cute. And they will fit on your American Girl doll ears if you don't have uh, AG dolls with their ears pierced. And it's really, really cute. I can't wait to put them on Margot. So if you go to Target, check it out. They got a lot of cute um, hair ribbons and all that stuff with Disney princess on them. But I have a ton of that for my... American Girls already. I just need to put them on it and take some photos of them. So this was really, really cool. So that is pretty much what I did yesterday. It's kind of a little mixed haul, a Target haul, a swap meet haul. Sorry I did not take the pictures once again. I did post a picture on Instagram of all the dolls that I got because I didn't show them all here. <laughs> oh, and I did find a really, well, not really old, but like a skipper from 1997. 
She's super, super beautiful. I love her. She's being washed and all that. I should have had her ready for the video, um, but I will share her with you guys again. Um... Oh my goodness, this video is going to be super long. But that's basically it for my yesterday's haul, my Saturday haul, Target and the Swap Meet. Sunday's going great. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. You're having fun. You're spending it with friends. You're spending it with family. You're doing something that you love. You're toy hunting. You're partying. Whatever it is, be safe. Have fun out there. Oh, and don't forget, guys, I will put my Q&A video, question video, down in the description box so you guys could click on that, watch the video, and in the comments of that video, uh, ask me any question that you would like me to answer because I am doing an answer video on Saturday, May the 9th. So don't forget to do that, guys. And Cadence isn't with us right now because it's Sunday and she had to catch up on her Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, my Cadence. Yes, you think with being a princess and being on the show with me, she would be too busy for her housewives, but not her. Not her. Oh, Cadence, what are we going to do? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today. Please thumbs up my video, comment, subscribe, totally subscribe. I'd love for you to be on my YouTube journey with me. Fun, sharing your comments, your points of view on toys and dolls, whatever it is. I love you guys. Have a good day. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Oh, wait, I didn't do that right. It's love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again uh, in this fabulous haul, swap meet, target, I can't get enough of doll's world. <laughs> you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow. Have fun. Enjoy your Sunday.